You do? Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So much. <laughs> It is day five and we're, we've woke up to some bright sunshine today which is lovely, really nice weather. The plan is to go up Scarfell Pike today, so we're going to go on a really long walk and do a, the biggest climb around this area, so it's going to be amazing. we got the weather on our side as well, so we're just going to pack up our gear and head on over to Wasdale Head. So I cannot wait, it's going to be great. We're nearing the top, and once we do that we have to go to the thin bit, and then it's down the other side. Look at that. <laughs> That's you through and through. <laughs> Cosed. <laughs> the campsite is cosed. The glasses fell out. So we are all setting off to walk Scarfell Pike. The time is probably half ten. We're just going to take it steady and get some nice views. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. What? We're not just going up Scarfell Pike. Oh yeah, can you explain no. this? We're going up what's called Piers Gill, which is a great big crevasse in the side, and it's also like grade two scrambling. This is a dangerous <laughs> route up here. So this isn't just a, oh we'll have a slight soiree. <laughs> Oh, Scarfell Pike. Gentle meander. Right? Yeah, gentle <laughs> meander. This is a... Uh, Scarfell Pike, the hard way. We've got to climb. We've got to climb. Well, okay. we had an easy day yesterday, didn't we, lads? Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> call <that> easy? <laughs> no. You told me it was an easy day and you <laughs> led me on a bloody 20 mile route. Yesterday was meant to be our rest day. Well, never, let, never let me plan rest And this days. nutter planned a Come route on. up Castle Crag. It was beautiful, though. It was beautiful. It was worth it was worth doing, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely.
it is an absolutely beautiful day, bright sun, and we're all having a great walk. Um, we just stopped at a river just to cool down a bit, which was so nice, considering how hot it is. Um, we were supposed to bring our camping gear and camp up here, but we changed our minds because of parking the car overnight is a bit dodgy with all of COVID-19. So we're just going for the day. So we started off at the car park here, just down by the Wasdale head of the pub. Took this path up here, past the pub, along here, Lingmail Beck, following the Beck pretty much the whole way. And we're now about to take this little path here. The path will split again into two. Um, this will take us up to the two tarns, which we would have taken if we were gonna sleep somewhere around here. Yeah. But we're going to well, take this. Tonight, wasn't it? But yeah, but since we're not staying overnight, we're going to be taking this little dotted route here up this huge gorge along the left called Piers Gill. We're going to be following that around Middle Boot Knots. There's going to be some uh, rock climbing we'll have to do to get over Cliff Face. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Then you get to the top of Piers Gill and you're looking down this huge gorge down the side of a mountainside. It's like someone's taken a knife and just scraped. Yeah. But a very big knife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then we'll. Walk up again to the Lingmel Coll, a little bit in between Scarfell Pike and Lingmel. Climb all the way up here to Scarfell Pike, explore the summit for a little while. There's the south summit on here as well somewhere. I think it's probably Rough Crag or Dow Crag on here. But um, it just gives us slightly different views over the Langdales. Yeah. Then walk back down to the Coll, up to Lingmel, all the way down Lingmel, and back along the valley to the car park. Yeah, there's a grand over there, the main highway. Careful, there's near a wing. There it is. <laughs> Riley, who's that? Stunning views, it's really nice. Breathtaking, isn't it? It is lovely. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's been a really decent walk getting here. How many people have we seen? None. None. Zero. No one. No yeah. One. It's been They're so nice. They're all going nice. up the main route. Yeah. This, this is the secret Ooh, bit. This is a better route. It's nice and peaceful. Just heard a raven. You heard a raven, have you? Stonking away, was it? Yeah. My favourite bird. Yeah, so we're all loving it. It's Just having a here, pit it's... stop. The terrain is just so it's just so raw and mm. beautiful, isn't it? It is. Can't get enough of this. No, it's just it's got to look and try and take it all in. That is a look. Thank you. How to prevent sunburn. So we finally made it to the summit of 
Scarfell Pike, which is great. <laughs> and now we're just gonna head down and then we're is it Ling Mel we're going up? Yeah, Ling Mel. Yeah, so we're going up Ling Mel. Just about to see it on the horizon, just sort of over this hill. Over there, and then heading back to the car. So it's been a long day, hasn't it? We yeah. set off at half ten and it's now twenty half six, something like half that. Half six. It? <laughs> yeah. Past half six. So yeah. a whole day of walking. <laughs> And yeah. it's not your casual walk, was it? No, not really. Just a couple of times around the park, something like that, you know. <laughs> if the park is the highest mountain in England. <laughs> yeah. And so... the sun is determined on burning me. Mm, you got serious burn. You look like that sweet, what's it called? <laughs> Where it's like white and red. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, can't, I don't know the name. <laughs> it's been a long day. The sun's it? wiped my memory. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to head on down. I can't multitask going down here. So. No, as soon as you started recording, I tripped over. So. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mop it. Right, so let's head on down. Get on my stylish headwear again. Love that. <laughs> the views are incredible. They are amazing. Something are they? else. You hundreds of miles, really. You can see Ireland over there. Yeah. Although it probably won't come out on the camera. Miles just named literally all the mountains around us a minute ago, which was pretty impressive. One yeah, one or two he missed out. <laughs> and we can see Ireland right in the distance, so it's great. We are now off of Scarfell Pike and we're just heading back now. So it's quite a long route home. We've taken a different route that goes past Ling Mel. Um, yeah, it's been amazing, really lovely walk, and it's been so peaceful. So we're just now gonna take a long walk back to the car. You can see Waswater in the distance where we're roughly parked. Right hand side is Scarfell which everyone thought was the highest until they got accurate reading of Scarfell Pike on the left. And it's ridiculous, it's only a few feet higher, you know? Yeah. But um, the main drag goes up here, the main route. But I've actually climbed up in between there, in between the two of them on that scree run there. Which mountain do you prefer out the two then? Scarfell. You do? It's funny, you know, if you walk up Scarfell Pike here, there's like a whole trail, a little bobble -offs. Yeah. And people are going all the way up, you know. You go on there, you probably won't see anybody. And yet you look on over this way and you see the fantastic slab of rock where you can actually do your rock climbing. Really? There's a dangerous call up there. It's, it's, it it's a beautiful mountain. And that hurts getting up there as well. Mm, definitely. Because it's not that much difference, is it? No, it's a few feet. I don't mind staying up all night Cause I came to get it right
So we're just having our morning coffee this morning. Oh, coffee. <laughs> what day is it? Is it day seven? Yes. We lose track of the days now. Um, but yesterday was awesome. We, well, do you want to tell us the route? Because you know the route really well. We went up Piers Gill, which, well, we first of all um, parked into Wasdale, didn't we? Yeah. And then we went along Piers, um, up to Piers Gill. How do you describe Piers Gill? I mean, it's just this. You can't really, can you? Huge gash into the earth, isn't it? Yeah. It's just. The terrain was literally like that, wasn't it? it? It was very, very steep. There was no footpath. No, we had to make our own way. It was off piece the whole mm. way. Oh, you did incredibly well, the girl. You really did. Unbelievable. Better than us old goats, that's for sure. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> and that was just went on for mile after mile after mile. We did 11 hours walking mm. yesterday. 11 hours. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we just parked at Hard Knots Pass. Yes, Hard Knots, that's right. Just under Hard Knots Mountain that we climbed the other day. And uh, yeah, we got here quite late last night, set up the tents really quickly in this little cowboy formation. And then... You need to describe Hard Knots though, really, don't you? Yeah. How do you describe this? Hard Knots and Rhinos are, is the most dangerous pass in the country. Mm. It's it's crazy, it's it a crazy is. road. I isn't don't know it? how you do it, I really don't. It's, you know, it's hairpin bends at a ridiculous angle. Wasn't yeah. It? It's so steep as well, isn't it? It is incredible. But, but it's just, I mean, it literally just goes over the mountains, doesn't it? And it's just. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And amazing camp spots like this one and the other one next to the stream is really nice. That's right. We need to find it. There's loads of camping spots along here, isn't there? Yeah, loads. Loads maybe we of could places. find one with a bit of a, a different view, maybe the next couple of days. Mm, definitely. So what are we going to do today then? Were you planning on visiting, is it High Dam? High Dam, you know, it's yeah. brilliant, at Finnswaite. Yeah. Now that's lovely. That. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. If you watch my videos, you'd have seen we camped there when it was all frozen over. So it's going to be completely different this time around. Oh, could not be warm. Yeah. We could have a chill day, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. Nice chill day. Well, yesterday was meant to be our rest day, actually, but Miles planned that route for us up <laughs> Scarfell Pike. Yes, thanks, Miles. <laughs> Welcome. It was a good walk. Yeah, it was amazing. Really nice. And the weather was so hot. We're all a bit burnt today. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's certainly been a different. No, sorry, that's not true, is it? We burnt and you tanned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I've got a little bit of burn. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But another hot day again today. It's only, what is it, half, seven, eight? Or am I? <laughs> I've no idea. It's about 7.30, I think. Yeah, and it's this hot already. It's very, very hot. Mm. I think the trees, I think we need to be in the forest today. Yeah, definitely. Let's get ourselves into the forest. I literally woke up this morning and I was like, oh, it's so hot because the sun's just hitting our tents, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was just in there roasting, so I just had to get up. Were you guys not hot in the night as well? Yeah, really hot. Oh, I was so hot. hot. Yeah, but I slept. I <laughs> yeah. <still> slept. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Yeah. This is civilised, isn't it? You've got to have a coffee in the morning. You've got to have a coffee. It's so nice. It's the morning routine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good way to start the day. Miles just has a bottle of Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so I now have the arms of a lobster. Got the neck of one. The arms of a oh lobster. My God. That is mental. Oh. I love your tan lines on your arms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never tell. That is crazy. I think you're in need of some after sun. Yeah, maybe a little. I'll go I'll only go through two or three bottles today, that'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, that's alright then. Yeah. 